Hello, I'm Mike in the Left Dice. This is the Couple Space Program. Well, this is pretty much the last of the scenarios, except the Dino Wing re entry, but I've already kind of done the Dino Wing, so I'm near. Uh, Chris Kerman was a little over enthusiastic with the Ares 4B, and now she's stuck in orbit. Luckily, there's a refueling ship nearby. Whoop. I hit cancel again. Why do we hit cancel all the time? Whoop. That was training. I want scenarios. I'm good at this. I can press buttons. I'm good at pressing buttons. Start. Boop, 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 boop. Right, so what have we got here? Not a lot. Monoprop fair amounts. Now. The sun is in a really bad set. Okay, do I want to go... Bowser 1. Let's go. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, let's switch to Bowser One. Okay, so what I'm going to do to make my life easier, I'm going to change this. So I'm going to do where 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 are we where are we where are we docking? Control from here. I'm going to put this to radial out. I'm going to swap back. What are you? You're a liquid fuel tank with nothing in it. Okay, so what am I? What am I? Where am I? Now I'm going to dock. What am I docking with? Inline clampertrons. We'll open that. And we'll control from here. And this is going to be radial in. Now put on RCS. Now a lot of this is going to be working out. I want to go into here we go. There we go. So let's turn ourselves so that we are pointing in a fairly easy to understand way. In other words, if I hit J, which is my key that points that way, I go that way. Now, because I am pointing radial in and it's pointing radial out, I shouldn't have to do anything involving um, rotation. I shouldn't have to do any rotation at all. Uh, okay, up and down is reversed as it always is. I'm going to need to move it forwards. Uh, I'm also using a lot of monoprop. I'm wondering if what I need to do, in fact, is bring myself. Oh, uh, uh. I don't know how much I'm going to. Have to I'm going to swap to to Bowser. Um, can I target? 
Okay, I don't know if this has got a, any kind of control on it at all. Um, see how much I'm going to need to do to get to... Oh, let's go back to radial out. Alright, so this, this doesn't have any RCS on it. So I may have made a terrible mistake. Um, okay, so right, let's control from here, and we'll point to our target. And yeah, I can't uh, target. So I have to do a lot of the maneuvering, and I'm going to swap back to here. Actually, turn RCS off. Not well. Well, I think I balked it now. Oh, no. Right, I'll turn ourselves anti target. Uh, so that we can. Now, I will, in fact, zoom ahead a little bit. Yeah, what, now that I'm. Now I'm seeing how much. Um, now that I'm seeing how much uh, now that I'm seeing how much uh, uh, monoprop I, I ended up using I've probably made this completely impossible and I can't point I'm, I'm too oh, let's go back to pointing towards the target. I'm too close to use um, uh, I'm too close to use um, what I want to use which is uh, program and retrograde. So I suspect that I now don't have enough monopropellant. I don't have any, I've gotten like basically no monopropellant left. So if I try and point to, I can't even point to the target. Oh, uh, have I lost the target? Oh, oh, that was anti-target. That's not what I want. I do have some fuel. So if I go back to, can, I mean, I don't think I'm, I'm don't think I'm going to get it. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have used RCS clearly, as it turns out. Um, That was me running out of fuel. Oh, I don't have any oxidizer. Okay. Oh dear, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Um, especially given that the uh, docking ports aren't aligned on either of them. Okay, so let's go back to radial in. What back? But I don't. I don't know if that keeps pointing radial in. Uh, so now I'm going to also go radial in. And that doesn't help me at all. Actually, now I think about it. Because all I've got, I've got this one engine now. Do I need lights on this? Oh, this is going to go well. Wow, that's a lot closer than I thought it was. Um. <laughs> <laughs> now I've broken it. Now I have definitely broken it. Um, so you notice as soon as I swap away, it completely changes. Uh, I, I, I lose the SAS thing, which is a bit of a pain. Right, let's... What we'll do, we'll, we'll control from here, and we'll, we'll... I think I also lose the targeting. Yeah, as soon as, you, as soon as you move ship, you lose the targeting, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, 
Uh, we don't have much in the way of electric charge either on this. Uh, we've got batteries. Do we have any solar panels? Do we have solar panels we can deploy? I'm getting, oh, there is a solar panel. There's a tiny, tiny solar panel. Um, where's the sun? So let's turn that off. Because I now, I now have to point this to the sun somehow, which I can't do. All right, I've got. Okay, there's, there's a voltaic panel there as well. So it's getting tiny amounts of electric power. Okay, so now, control from here, point to target. And then I'm hoping that the, un the underbelly, wow. So we're going to have to actually save up a bit of electric power. And meanwhile, uh, the actual craft is vanishing because we're so far away from each other. But it uses so much electric power to do that that it will run out. Wow. So what I clearly needed to do um, was get this close and, and by g get Bowser to get close. Um, I don't know I like some of that's handy. Get Bowser to get close and then use the monoprop on the actual craft, maybe the sky. Um, do the final adjustments with RCS. Uh, to actually do the docking, but that's not an option anymore because I used up so much. These aren't, I'm not sure these are very well constructed scenarios, to be perfectly honest. So this is going to be another failure, I suspect. Uh, another failure episode, which is going to be terribly exciting. We're going at about 10 meters a second, which might be a bit much. Definitely one of the things where I'd love to know how long it's going to take me to slow down to zero. Uh, you can tell that in map view, I think, actually. I think I've got enough time to look at it in map view. 11 seconds burn time to zero meters a second. So when I feel I'm like, I'm a, a like 11 seconds away. So when this gets to about 110, that's when I should really stop. Let's, let's go at 150. I went the, I'm now doing something. Oh, and also it's stupid. I forgot to retrograde, 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 retrograde. So I don't know what I'm doing is, is the problem. Now I'm allegedly more or less zero against uh, compared to my target. If I run out of electric power, no. Why have I just stopped then? I 
I've lost my target indicator, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's too far away, I suspect. Suddenly it's what? How is it four kilometers away? I think my game's broken. Also, I'm about to hit, I'm going to hit, um, as, as things stands, I'm going to, to hit. But I've still got, I've still got a, a, a I've got a, a relative target motion of zero meters per second, which is really weird. Uh, I can, however, point anti-target, so I guess I'll do that. I think the game's broken. <laughs> well, I've broken the game, so uh, clearly we're not going to uh, fix anything today. So, <laughs> on this slightly depressing note, um, I'm going to say thanks very much for watching. Uh, do hit like and subscribe if you enjoy. Oh, there we go. Maybe I wasn't actually. I don't know. That was really weird. All right, let's make. Right, are we going towards the target at this stage? We are. Okay. So I'm going to say thanks very much for watching. Uh, do hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Come to Neil Dice at NeilDice.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, I'm going to need to go retrograde really fast, and that's not retrograde. And yeah, this isn't going to work. So <laughs> uh, until next time, um, reach for the stars and try a slightly different scenario maybe. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. <laughs>